So what do we have here? These medallions, what they're doing is putting a 620 screw on the medallion. I'm not sure exactly what the, what they're putting the medallion on, whether it's like going here on a jacket or a coat or whatever. Not sure. But they need to screw on the back end of it. And it, it needs to be brazed evidently, not soldered. So we're high temperature uh, in a fairly localized area. I'm actually using the 1800 watt power unit and it's at the maximum power setting. Uh, this is the braze rod I've got here with some, uh, with some uh, paste flux on it. And I'm just gonna introduce this screw to the back side of the braze rod and heat it until the braze rod melts, which I should feel it melt and have the screw uh, you know, come down and, and nest on the back of the medallion. Now I'll probably be pulsing this a little bit as it gets you know, hotter because I don't want to overheat too much and actually melt the screw. But there you go. See, I've got some movement on here. This is starting to, to bend and flex a little bit, so I know it's melting. I'm going to just try and feed a little extra in here. That's going to help me know that I've got uh, solidification down to the medallion, hopefully. That's going to be the key thing, is having the brace stick to the screw and the medallion bolt. Give it just a moment to stick. Can you see it good? Yeah, it looks pretty good. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and prep and do another one. It looks like it's a pretty solid braze. And, uh, so you're applying a little flux right now to both yep. the screw and the medallion? Yep. A little bit of paste flux on there to, just to make sure that I get good adhesion. When you braze it this time, can you, um, when you put the handpiece down? Yeah, I'm listening. Uh, just, once it's down, I'll show you. You're going to have to twist it just a little bit so I could get a better shot Different in there. Different angle? That looks perfect. Is that better? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I can do that. I'm going to try to get really nice up and close. Okay. And basically I'm judging this based on the amount of flex, flexing that the braze rod is doing to tell when it's actually melted. There it goes. Yeah, because that rod is very rigid. Yeah. And again, I want to try and feed a little extra braze on there. That helps me know that the medallion part has gotten hot enough for that braze to wet to it. And I see that you've let off the power and now you're just holding it in place. Right. But it's just giving an opportunity for that braze to re-solidify. And the braze doesn't stick to the carbon electrodes. Right. 